After Tottenham's 3-2 win against Frankfurt in the Champions League on Wednesday, Antonio Conte said everything is in our hands now. Club captain Hugo Lloris has come out and said we are still looking for improvement. Up next, Everton at home at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, back in the Premier League on Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Now, please don't fast forward because I can guarantee that you want to know how to win £10,000 for free this weekend. If you haven't already heard about Fantasy Five, please do let me explain. It's a completely free-to-play fantasy football prediction game with a weekly £10,000 jackpot. Yes, that is right. You can win £10,000 every Premier League match week. Simply choose one player in each of the five Premier League games, and if all five beat their fantasy points target, you will win £10,000. Here is my chosen team on screen now. You will see it includes my favourite ever Tottenham Hotspur player, Hun Min Son. They also have amazing prizes on offer if you don't win the jackpot, so there's always something to play for. It's completely free, only takes two minutes to set up, and they've already had and paid out £50,000 worth of jackpot winners. If you want to join in with me, hit the link in the description and the best of luck. Let's start with Antonio Conte's comments after Tottenham Hotspur beat Frankfurt 3-2 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the Champions League in Group D. He said, in my opinion, we played really well. We created a lot of chances to score, scored three goals and had many chances. Their goalkeeper was their best player. Then to see the final part of the game is really difficult. We can learn a lot from what happened at the end because we need to know very well, me and the players, that the game is never finished until the referee whistles three times. We dropped our level of attention because we considered the game ended. It's good to speak because the game finished with a win, but for sure we have to analyse to be better next time, everybody. It was a good performance, a good win. Now we are leading our group. Everything is in our hands and this is important because we have an important chance in the next game against Sporting because if we get a win, we go through to the next round and this is our first target this season. Antonio Conte then went on to say, now it's important to recover well to prepare for the game against Everton. Their start wasn't good, but now they have found a good balance and Frank Lampard is a really good manager and we have to pay great attention. They have many good players. Club captain Hugo Lloris was also talking about the Frankfurt game Wednesday evening and said maybe we thought the game was over, but at this level there is no easy game, even against 10 men. You have to be more focused and avoid this type of ending, but we're happy with the three points. We should have been more able to control the game in the second half. At the same point, we started to do a little bit less effort. Obviously, there was a lot of changes, but it's part of the game and a good opportunity for the players who came on. We work so hard every day that you can understand that we can be frustrated after a game like this one because we should have managed the game better. But I'm happy with the three points. That's the most important thing. And we had a great reaction after conceding. But it's just this feeling with ups and downs. When you want to be a top team, you have to be able to control games like this one better. Hugo Lloris then added, we want to get the three points and be in a good position before the World Cup in the Premier League and every competition in which we're involved. But we know that to arrive at this level, we need to perform well. We're capable of performing well, but we're still looking for improvement. This Saturday, the Spurs under-18s, the under-21s and the men's first team will all be in action. Uh, the under-18s will be facing Fulham away in the under-18 Premier League. Uh, the game will be played at Motspur Park, 11am kickoff. The under-21s will be in action in Premier League 2, away at Wolverhampton Wanderers. The kickoff time is 11am. And then, of course, the Tottenham Hotspur men's first team will be in action at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, back in Premier League action, 5.30pm kickoff against Everton.
One Premier League game will take place on Friday evening, four on Saturday afternoon and five on Sunday. Friday's game is as follows. Brentford will take on Brighton, 8pm kickoff. The four games on Saturday, Leicester City will take on Crystal Palace. Fulham will take on Bournemouth. Wolves will take on Nottingham Forest. And then, of course, is our game Spurs v Everton. On Sunday, the five games are as follows. Aston Villa will host Chelsea. Leeds will host Arsenal. Manchester United will play Newcastle United. Southampton against West Ham United. And then it's the big one, Liverpool against Manchester City. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, um, let's start with uh, Antonio Conte's comments. Um, everything is in our hands now. I'll tell you what, we are sitting top of Group D, uh, which is a nice place to be. Um, everyone thought that this group would be an absolute walkover. Uh, but you've got to think, Frankfurt, they didn't lose a European game last season. They won the Europa League. Um, you know, that takes some doing. Um, they're a decent side. I thought they were decent last week um, when, uh, when they were at home. Um, they were fairly decent yesterday um, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and uh, they didn't want to give up and they gave everything that they had right until the very end and we should not switch off um, like we did and Hugo Lloris said we are still looking for improvement I completely agree and I'll tell you what I will be excited when Spurs actually get out of um, first gear into second gear because I just think that there is so much more to come from this Spurs team and this squad. Uh, there really, really is. But we keep grinding the results out. Um, you know, we're in a very, very good position at the moment, sitting top of Group D in the Champions League, and we're sitting in third place in the Premier League. So we are in a good place right now. And as I keep saying, there is so much more to come from this squad. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. Also leave a comment. Give me your thoughts on the stories in this episode of Tottenham News. Now, if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And do look out for Antonio Conte's press conference on Friday afternoon. Of course, ahead of the Everton game back in the Premier League at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, 5.30pm kickoff. Uh, enjoy your weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Come on, you Spurs.